Okay, yes, it's possible to rotate your eyes, but you can't do it without some practice. Our eyes have four major muscles that allow them to move up and down and side to side. There are actually two more muscles that we use without knowing as well. These muscles help you roll or rotate your eyes. We can focus on something rotating, and our eyes will start rotating with it. This helps us have a stable image and keep a clear vision, like an autofocus on a camera. When you move your head side to side and up and down, your eyes will move in the opposite direction. The average human eye has three cones, which lets us see red, green, and blue spectrums of light. All combined, this gives us the ability to see around a million different colors. Tetrachromats see the ultraviolet shades as well, as they've got four cones in their eyes. Pause here to quickly test how many colors you can count. There were 39 colors there. If you counted a lot, you might be a tetrachromat. Some animals, like bats and dolphins, can see using echolocation. There are also humans that can do something similar called flash sonar. They can use clicking sounds to make a 3D image of an area in their minds, allowing them to easily navigate through it. The more they click, the more flashes they get about a room or an area, giving them a better understanding of the place. Being pitch perfect is astonishingly rare. Less than 1 in 10,000 people have it. It allows people to accurately identify musical notes of all kinds. One of the many advantages of this talent is that it allows people to listen to a song and immediately know what key it's in. Hey, without music, life would be flat. People with dystochiasis are born with a second set of eyelashes that grow from the inner layer of the eyelid. While it may look pretty to some, these extra lashes can irritate the eye and cause problems like sensitivity to light, droopy eyelids, tearing, and inflammation. There are a few ways to treat the condition, like soft contacts, lasers, and cryotherapy. Dutch health guru Wim Hof claims that his breathing, meditation, and training have helped him gain all kinds of superhuman abilities. He's trained his body to adapt to extreme temperatures and even learned how to raise his own body temperature. He's also been able to adapt more quickly to altitude changes. He has even claimed that his training methods and strict diet and exercise regimen have improved his immune system. Now, we're meant to get anywhere from 7 to 8 hours of sleep every night to function the next day. But there are some lucky people out there that only need 6 hours or less a night. This is caused by a genetic anomaly, and there don't seem to be any adverse effects from having it. We have about 10,000 taste buds. But some people have many more than that – super tasters. Thanks to their powerful ability to taste sweet things like oranges, strawberries, and candy are almost too sweet, while bitter things like broccoli, cabbage, spinach, grapefruit, and coffee are overpowering. Well, thanks anyway, but I'll keep what I have. Most people have a total of 24 ribs. No, not at the restaurant. In your body. There's a chance you might be one of the few that has 25 ribs instead. About 1 in 200 people have a cervical rib, a spare rib just above the first rib. It's usually not even noticed because it's above the collarbone and pretty thin. Hey, when's lunch? I got hungry for some reason. Chances are you have an any belly button. That's because only about 10% of the world's population have an Audi, making it pretty rare. It has nothing to do with how our umbilical cord is cut. Our belly button stores a bit of fat beneath it, and it's this that determines what kind of belly button you'll end up with. So don't blame the doctor. The type you have is completely down to genetics. If you've ever experienced high altitude, you should know how hard it is on your body. Even just walking up a hill can be a difficult task. Give it a few days, though, and things will become easier. Your lungs, blood cells, and body will adapt quicker than you think, letting you hold on to that precious oxygen for longer. This adaptation will last for as long as you stay up high, and you'll go back to normal after a while back at normal altitude. When we submerge ourselves in water, it causes our heart rate to drop and oxygen consumption to slow. In recent years, freedivers have pushed the limits of human lungs by going down a record of 700 feet. One person held his breath for more than 22 minutes underwater. We don't know what the limits are yet, but people are testing the boundaries. When a person has a photographic memory or total recall, 
This is called eidetic memory. It's the ability to accurately recall sounds, images, or other things from your memory. Some can even be told a date in a calendar from years ago and tell you what day it actually was. Unfortunately, you can't get an eidetic memory with practice. You have to be born with it. An ultramarathon runner named Dean Karnazes once ran for 350 consecutive miles and didn't even sleep for three days. He's most famous for running 50 marathons in all 50 U.S. states in 50 consecutive days. He finished this achievement off by completing the New York Marathon in only three hours. Some people have an incredible ability to find their way without using a compass or even the stars. This unique navigational ability has been linked to the strength of the signals given off in a certain part of the brain, called the entorenal region. Place the back of your wrist and forearm on a table, then squeeze your thumb and pinky together. Do you see a muscle raise up in the middle of your forearm? If you don't, don't worry. It's vestigial. That means that it doesn't do anything useful anymore. Hey, wait, that's me. It's an old muscle that we used to use for climbing, and around 10% of the human population doesn't even have it anymore. If you can wiggle your ears, you can thank your auricular muscles. Those are the ones on the outside of your ear. Even if you can't wiggle your ears, the muscles are still there. Compared to other mammals, our ears can't move much. Some mammals can even fully turn their ears to locate sounds. Just watch your dog or cat. A dog's third eyelid might be a bit creepy the first time you see it, but we also have a third eyelid of sorts. But this human body part can't move by itself. It just covers a tiny part of the inside corner of your eye. It's likely that it used to serve a purpose, but it's pretty much useless now. Sometimes, you just need a really good cry. It's also good for you, too. Shedding tears when you cry helps release your stress hormones. It can also stimulate the production of endorphins as well, our body's natural answer to aspirin. Your brain replaces itself every two months, your liver every six weeks, your epidermis or the skin every month. Even your stomach lining replaces itself every few days. If your body didn't do this, the acids inside of your stomach wouldn't just digest food, they'd also start digesting you. So, all right, what's eating you? Oh, you. The human lungs contain around 1,500 miles of airways and a total surface area of about 754 square feet when laid flat. But I would suggest that you don't do that. Your lungs are on the clock 24-7, keeping you alive and breathing, taking 12 to 15 breaths a minute or about 17,000 a day. Your left lung is slightly smaller than your right lung to make room for your big heart. After years of wear and tear, your feet may weaken enough that they seem to grow. This can cause our arches to flatten, meaning broader and longer feet eventually. It won't happen to everyone, but people who get swollen feet or ankles are more prone. If it does happen to you, you've got time. By age 70 or 80, your feet would have only gone up one size. Taste is influenced a lot by the temperature of what you're eating or drinking. For example, hot coffee seems less bitter and tastes much better because the heat tricks our bitter-detecting taste buds. The same goes for cold coffee, too. The cold masks the bitterness flavor and creates a more pleasant aftertaste. Room-temperature coffee doesn't smell the same or taste nice because the bitterness comes on more strongly. Brushing your teeth too aggressively is very possible, and it's not good for your teeth at all. It'll wear down the enamel and make them sensitive to hot and cold foods. Teeth don't repair themselves, so you gotta take care of them. Slow down your brushing and take a full two minutes to get your teeth properly clean. Um, don't forget the floss, too. Wow! Just one strand of hair can support about 3 ounces. On average, a person has about 150,000 strands. And when your hair is working as a team, it can support about 12 tons. That's two elephants. Um, not counting the peanuts. Your brain generates electricity, and it'd be enough to light up a small light bulb, if you could only figure out how. It doesn't hurt to cut your nails or hair, because the only part that's alive is under the skin. Also, nails grow faster in summer than in winter, even in places where there's not much difference between the seasons. Also, nails grow faster on your writing hand, probably because you use it more often and that stimulates the nails more. It looks like the pinky finger is weak, but that's not true at all. Without it, you'd lose 50% of your hand strength. 
it usually works together with your ring finger to provide power. The other three are more for grabbing stuff. Oh, and just like fingerprints, your tongue has a unique print too. But you can't use it to unlock your phone, at least not yet. Also, your tongue has a lot of fat in it. If you gain weight, your tongue does too. There's acid in your stomach that breaks down food. The acid is so strong that it could eat right through a piece of wood. The total length of all blood vessels in an adult is close to 100,000 miles. That's four times around the equator. In your lifetime, you produce enough saliva to fill two swimming pools. Our ancestors needed goosebumps to make their body hair stand on end and scare away any bad guys. We don't need that anymore, but we still get them because we haven't evolved enough yet to get rid of this feature. Now, you've probably never noticed, but you mostly only breathe through one nostril at a time. Every few hours, the nostrils switch jobs. That's why only one nostril gets stuffy when you have the flu. Most people think they have five senses, but that's not true. Scientists don't yet know themselves, but they think there's more than 20. There's sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. And there are other senses like time, hunger, and thirst. Then there's proprioception, the sense of where your body is in space. The brain can't always tell the difference between intense happiness and intense sadness. It gets that you're experiencing a very strong emotion, but sometimes it gets a bit confused. That's why you might cry when you're very happy. Your eyes stay about the same size your whole life, but your nose and ears don't. That'd be so weird. Back in the day, all humans had brown eyes. Other eye colors developed as a result of a random mutation. Scientists think that while the first humans appeared on Earth around 6 million years ago, the first blue-eyed person appeared only 10,000 years ago. So it's pretty likely that all blue-eyed people on the planet have the same ancestor. Uncle Bob! All bones in the human body are connected to each other, except one. The hyoid bone is U-shaped and located at the base of the tongue, holding it in place. Bones are stronger than steel. A strong, healthy bone could, in theory, handle the weight of five pickup trucks. Still, they're not the strongest body part. The strongest is tooth enamel. It's made of a bunch of different materials that make it damage-resistant. Teeth live a long time, lasting for hundreds of years. But of course, you still need to take care of them. They're the only body part that can't heal itself. Your heart works non-stop and beats around 3 billion times over the course of your lifetime. Just like your heart, your tongue never takes a vacation. Even when you sleep, it helps push saliva down your throat. By the way, where do you rest your tongue? If you keep it on the bottom of your mouth, you're doing it wrong. This posture might lead to some neck and jaw pain. If you keep it jammed up against your teeth, you're doing it wrong too. It can cause your teeth to shift and might lead to a bad bite. Instead, try to keep it sort of halfway, about a half an inch away from your teeth. Now, we can't breathe and swallow at the same time. That's because whatever we swallow and the air we breathe travel down the same path, at least at first. It's like there's a little guy directing traffic down there. Your eyes can breathe. The cornea is the only body part that doesn't have a direct blood supply. It gets oxygen right from the air. That's why when it's dry outside, your eyes might get a bit itchy. Everyone dreams. Some people say they've never dreamt a night in their life. But they just never remember any of their dreams. Some scientists think that the dreaming stage is followed by an active forgetting stage. That's probably because dreams aren't exactly full of important information, and our brain needs to clean up some extra space for something more useful. Those who are lucky enough to remember their dreams still end up forgetting about half within 5 minutes of waking up. And after 10 minutes, it's usually gone for good. When you blush, the lining of your stomach turns red too. It happens because blood starts to flow around more when you're embarrassed, as your body gets ready for something stressful to happen. Your face and stomach lining get more of it, turning them red. Also, humans are the only animals who can blush, or at least the only ones where you can see it so obviously. During one lifetime, the average human grows 590 miles of hair. The average man, if he never shaved, would have a 30-foot-long beard. 
hair grows a little faster in warm climates because heat stimulates faster circulation in our bodies. Everything you'd ever need to know about you is all written down in one strand of hair. From a single hair, a scientist could tell you what you've been eating your whole life and what kind of environment you've lived in. On average, one human eats their way through 100,000 pounds of food in one lifetime. That's like 10 big hippos worth of food. Lips are one of the most sensitive parts of the human body. They have loads of nerve endings, even more than your fingers. Also, lip skin is very thin, so you can actually see the blood capillaries inside. That's why lips are red or pink, unlike the rest of your body. Lips are also very sensitive to sun damage, so remember to apply sunscreen on them. It'll help to preserve their health and fullness over time. In addition to your fingerprints, your iris, and your tongue, your lips are also unique. The total surface of your lungs is about the same as a tennis court. <coughs> Coughs and sneezes are real fast travelers. A cough can get up to 50 miles per hour. A sneeze is even faster, almost 100 miles per hour. Unless you use your fingers to help you, it's impossible to sneeze with your eyes open. Scientists don't really know what's going on there. Some say it's just a reflex, so you can't control it. Others think it happens to shield your eyes from whatever's flying out. All humans literally glow. The light comes from your body heat. It's actually a thousand times less intense than you're capable of seeing, but still awesome. The largest flash drive in the world is actually your brain. Well, anyone's brain. The neurons in it combine together in such a way that your storage capacity is about a million gigabytes. It's enough to hold 3 million hours of movies. That's like a 300-year-long movie night. Hey, pass the popcorn! You start feeling thirsty when you lose about 1% of your body weight. If you lose 5%, you might even feel like fainting. Fingers don't have muscles that make them move. The muscles that do that are located in the palm and the forearm. The word muscle actually comes from the old Latin word for mouse. That's what the Romans thought their biceps looked like. On average, in their lifetime, a person walks about 110,000 miles. That's four times the distance around our planet, or half the distance from the Earth to the moon. So, remember to wear comfortable shoes. <laughs>